Okay, this is about to be a really nice and chill sit down video. Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dakota or Coda, if you don't know me already. Um, I wanted to make this a very chill video. I just wanted to come on here just to talk about how I became a morning person. I have my phone here with all my tips. Um, I'm just going to be talking about how I became a morning person and how you can become one too. Um, I have my bonnet on because... I feel like if I'm talking about morning, like, I should look the part. I say that with a full face of makeup on. Anyways, I'm just going to give you some tips and some things that I wish that other people had told me when I was trying to do this. So the main reason why I wanted to become a morning person was because I used to feel really groggy throughout the day. And I used to stay up really late at night because I felt like I didn't have any other time to have alone time. And so I would stay up really, really late to compensate for the alone time that I missed out on throughout the day. But now I wake up earlier so I still have a lot of time to do what I want and I don't feel that need to stay up till like 2, 3 a.m. every day just for the sake of it. So one of the tips that I have is working out. I know that a lot of people probably don't want to hear this, but I genuinely think that since I started working out it helped me in the morning so what I would do is wake up in the morning before I do anything else I mean other than like brush my teeth and wash my face um, I would drink my pre-workout and do a workout um, I have a stationary bike in my basement so I would do the bike for like maybe 10-15 minutes and then do like a full body workout whether I follow like a workout video or just workouts that I know off the top of my head and I'll just like pick a random amount of um, sets to do and do that in the morning. And I found that once I started working out in the morning, I had a lot more energy and motivation to keep going throughout the day. And that's because when you work out, it releases endorphins. You know, it gets you started for the day, gives you some energy. And when I finish my workout in the mornings, I feel like, okay, I did something good. So, you know, I'm on the right path for the day. Also, another thing that I recommend is making up your bed every morning because I find that even if I don't really want to get out of bed, I'm like, okay, well, I want to make up my bed and I, w I want my bed to look nice when I come back to my room at the end of the day. It's really nice to see a well-made bed. And if my bed is really nicely made, it discourages me from going back into my bed throughout the day. So I tend to get a lot more things done because... I don't want to sit in my bed that's so pretty and nice and neat. Um, another thing I recommend, sorry, I just moved the camera. Another thing I recommend is making to-do lists and making specifically morning routine to-do lists. So what I do every night is I make a to-do list in my notes just like this um, with the with this feature here so that I can like check it off when I'm finished. Um, I make a list of things to do, include every little thing that I'm going to do that morning and that just motivates me because being able to mark off one thing off of your checklist, even if it's something as small as um, washing my face, brushing my teeth, it really does motivate you and help you to stay consistent throughout the day. And I find that it also makes you feel like, okay, I'm being productive, like this is a good day, like I woke up, I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, I made my bed, did little things like that. I think that that helps me stay on track. Um, I also think that the way that you wake up is also very important so like if you wake up and the first thing that you do is turn off your alarm and go on your phone then i mean yes you're waking up early but you're not spending that time being productive so what i like to do is not to use any sort of social media for the first one to two hours when i wake up um so and the only thing that I will check are my emails because sometimes there are some things that I do have to check. But in the first one to two hours while I'm doing my workout and getting ready for the day, all I do is listen to music and I put my phone on airplane mode so I don't get any messages, notifications, anything. So I'm not even tempted to go on social media. And then to have that moment to yourself and to just kind of like prepare for the day, I feel like it's very helpful because going on social media especially right when you wake up I feel like one you stay in your bed a lot more because your entertainment's right here it's so easy to just mindlessly scroll on social media and then two whatever's on social media I feel like no matter what you see that is not the first thing you should see in the morning I found that um 
in 2020 when the George Floyd situation happened it was like every day I was seeing something traumatic on my screen every morning that is not something that you should be waking yourself up to you should not be waking up to seeing like tragedies <laughs> and like when COVID was happening too it was like every morning just filling my brain with negativity um and just like things that didn't really motivate me for the day so now I try to stay away from that I try to say my affirmations in the morning listen to music I have a specific playlist that I play in the morning it's called intentionally speaking I'll link it in the description if I remember um but it just has like good vibes for the morning and a lot of it filled with like affirmations and manifestations throughout the songs just things for good vibes to start your day so that you're not starting off on the wrong foot um, another thing that I suggest is to eat dinner earlier. I find that when I used to stay up super late, it was because I would just be up on my phone or eating or just like in the kitchen looking for something to stuff my face with because I was just up for no reason. I found that now that I eat dinner a lot earlier, I don't have the tendency to like stay up late to grab a snack or like, you know, and they say that you're not supposed to eat before you go to bed anyway, so... Um, another thing, no caffeine at night. I think that is pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's no need to have heavy drinks right before you go to bed. I used to have, I used to be obsessed with the Tim Hortons ice caps, the caramel ice caps specifically, with extra caramel. And I used to have them all the time. I didn't realize how much caffeine I was consuming. And I always had them at night. And I guess I just never pieced together why I could never fall asleep. Um, I also used to drink like a peace tea and I know that has caffeine in it. Arizona has caffeine in it. Like a lot of my favorite drinks had that, but I try to stick to like water. Anyways, you guys, um, those are all the habits and tips that I found helpful. Um, I discovered these like as I was going along with trying to go to bed earlier and waking up earlier. Um, it's helped me become a morning person so much. I honestly start getting tired at like 9 30 like it's 8 p.m right now and like I'm ready to take off my makeup and start getting ready for bed like it's definitely helped and I found myself to be a lot happier in the mornings and there's just something so calm and peaceful about a morning especially a morning to yourself and an intentional morning so I recommend everybody to at least attempt to wake up earlier or to build a productive morning routine instead of being on social media for hours before you actually start your day um i hope you guys found this useful and i will see you in the next one peace out homies peace out